Happy, happy Easter, everyone. I'm here to do y'all summons, okay, for April the 9th, 2023. Um, we will be reading Hebrews chapter 7 in the New Testament. Y'all should already know who these people are, but if I have to stop, I will. So let's begin. For this Mechadic, King of Simon, priest of God, most high, who met Abraham returning from the slaughter of the kings and blessed him. I got, y'all will know who the real Most High is. To whom also Abraham divided a tenth part of all, being first by interpretation, king of righteousness, and then also king of Simon, which means king of peace. Without father, without mother, without genealogy, having neither beginning of days nor end of life, but made like the Son of God, remains a priest continually. See, remember I told y'all how the Most High give y'all body parts and stuff? Well, that means you part of him or whatever. Okay? It's like something bad happened to you. But even, even then, you're still a part of him. Now, consider how great this man was to whom even Abraham, the partiality, gave a tenth out of the blessed plunder. They, indeed, of the son of Levi, who received the priest's office, have a commandment to take tithes of the people according to the Torah. That is, of their brothers, do these have come out of the body of Abraham. Okay. Um, it could be anybody that got their body parts took in doing human trafficking. But he who genealogy is not counted from, then he then has accepted tithes from Abraham and has blessed him, he who has the promises. Or Abraham could be the most high. But without any dispute, the lesser is blessed by the greater. Here, people who die receive tithes. Tithe, tithes. But there's one received titles of whom he testified that he lives. Okay, you know, when you go to church, you give your tithes. Yeah, so they're basically about human trafficking, y'all. This is about human trafficking. We can say that through Abraham, even Levi, who received tithes, had paid tithes. For he was yet in the body of his father when Meshedek met him. Now, profession was through the Levitical priesthood, for under it the people have received the law. What further need was there for another priest to arise after the order of Meshedek? And not be called after the order of Aaron. So like I told you, human trafficking, sex trafficking, slavery, mortal slavery started happening today. April the 9th, 1995. That's when six months done passed by. Okay. It happened October the 14th until the spell manifested on April the 9th, 1995. This is the new law. Okay. Even for Frenny Frenny. Okay. It didn't change for the it's just new people. For the priesthood being changed, there is of a necessity, a change made also in the law. For he of whom these things are said belong to another tribe, from which no one had officiated at the altar. For it, my daughter house, in Kia house. For it is evident that our Lord has sprung out of Judah, about which tribe Moses spoke nothing concerning priesthood. This is yet more abundantly evident if after the likeness of Meshedek there arises another priest who has been made not after the law of a fleshy commandment but after the power of an endless life. See? For it is testified, you are a priest forever according to the order of Meshedek. For there is a newling of a foregoing commandment because of a weakness and looselessness. See, Jill is looseless. Lo in Jenna, never mind, Jill, Margarita was weak and looseless now, so that's why they needed Kia. It said, for there is a newling of a foregoing commandment. That's why Kia was involved, okay? That's why the murder of Kia happened. So they can continue keeping it going, okay, with her being the new Jesus, okay? For the, for the law made nothing perfect, and they bring it in of a better hope, though which we draw near to God. See? See, they thought Kia was going to be the better hope, okay? Because Margarita got old or something like that. Today do mark 28 years, okay? Inasmuch as he was not made priest without taking of an oath, 
for they indeed had been made priests without an oath. But he was an oath by him that says of him, The Lord swore and would never change his mind. You are a priest forever, according to the order of Meshedek. By so much, Yushua has become the collateral of a better covenant. Here, many indeed have been made priests because they are hindered from continuing by death. But he, because he lives forever, has his priesthood unchangeable. Therefore, he is also able to save to the uttermost those who draw near to God through him, seeing that he lives forever to make intercession for them. For such a high priest were fitting for us, holy, guiltless, undefiled, separated from sinners, and made higher than the heavens. Here who doesn't need, like those high priests, to offer up sacrifices daily, first for his own sins and then for the sins of the people. For he did this once for all when he offered up himself. Chiquilla did not. For the Torah appoints men, maybe her body did, but not really. Can you remember Shanice had her body? So maybe, she, I don't know if she did with her body. Okay, I don't know. Papers, the receipts tell me, I don't know. For the Torah appoints men and high priests who have weakness, but the word of the oath which came after the Torah appoints a son forever who have been perfect. Okay? So this is Hebrews chapter 7 in the New Testament. I hope y'all enjoy. Peace.